There are currently two options for high food treatment uh, in North America. One is Ablotherm, uh, which is produced by uh, EDAP, E-D-A-P, a French company. And a second option is Sonoblate, uh, which is uh, manufactured by a U.S. Uh, surgical uh, company. We chose Ablotherm uh, for several reasons. We had choices, but I think that Ablotherm is by far the best. Ablotherm is better, in my view, uh, for several reasons. The first is imaging. Uh, the image quality with the 7.5 megahertz probe is far superior to that which can be achieved with Sonoblate where a 4 megahertz probe is used. Uh, precision is a second reason why I think Ablotherm is better. The device is computer controlled. We can safely target the energy to within a tenth of a millimeter thus giving us a much better option of preserving, for instance, neurovascular bundle, which is important for erectile function, to prevent rectal injury and yet to completely treat the prostate. The third reason we chose Ablotherm is because of patient safety. Uh, because the device has four uh, sensors that record temperature, distance to target, uh, movement of the prostate, before each discharge of energy, if any one of those four parameters are violated, the device is disabled and will not fire. There may be six or seven hundred such discharges during each treatment. With Ablotherm, we can be absolutely sure that each firing of the device is safe for the patient and will not result in injury. This is not the case with Sonoblade. The fourth reason that we chose Ablotherm was the overwhelming published literature uh, in the world on high-intensity focused ultrasound is ablotherm-based. Uh, those who use Sonoblate aver that their results are good. In my view, if that's the case, they should publish them and subject them to peer review. That has not been the case. The overwhelming published uh, literature is ablotherm literature. <laughs>